In the next series of videos, we are going to cover section 5.3, Recursive Definitions and Structural Induction. So the learning outcomes for this section include being able to identify valid recursive definitions and give recursive definitions of functions or sequences defined by a closed formula. So recall that we've actually already covered the recursive definitions of sequences um, in section 2.4, and we're going to generalize this um, in terms of functions, and then we're going to expand our notion of a recursive definition for sets and other objects. Recall that in sections 5.1 and 5.2, we used mathematical induction and strong induction to prove that a closed formula of a sequence was in fact a solution to a recurrence relation. And so we're going to expand our notion of induction to something called structural induction in order to prove the recursive definitions of sets and other objects. And then we're going to use structural induction to prove properties of these recursively defined sets as well. Okay, so recalling section 2.4 and our notion of a recurrence relation for a sequence, we're going to expand that to define functions recursively. So recall that a sequence is simply a function defined on the natural numbers where instead of using f of n to denote the values of the function, we use the notation a sub 0, a sub 1, or a sub i to denote the value of the function at the integer i. So in order to give a recursive or inductive definition of a function, this consists of two steps. So the first step is the basis step, which specifies the value of the function at 0, and the recursive step gives a rule for finding the value of the function at an integer from its values at smaller integers. So essentially, the basis step tells us how to begin to define the function at 0, and then the recursive step tells us how to find values of the function at all integers greater than or equal to 0. Recall that our definition of recurrence relation Recall that in our definition of recurrence relation, the basis step was essentially the initial conditions given by the recurrence relation, and the recursive step was the rule that assigned a value of the sequence based on values of previous terms of the sequence. Okay, so let's look at a particular example. Suppose we have a function defined as follows. So f of 0 is equal to 3, and f of n plus 1 is equal to 2 times f of n plus 3. Then this is, in fact, a definition, er, an example of a recursively defined sequence. The basis step tells us how to define f of 0, and the recursive step tells us how to define the function at a value of n plus 1 by a particular equation involving the value of the function at n. So we define value of a function at an integer by using the function of the value of a previous integer. So this is simply a generalization of recurrence relations um, using function notation instead. So next we will look at recursively defined sets and then structural induction.